good day there, YouTube. Robert J. Morris here. I'd like to thank uh, your TV Unplugged uh, for the idea of looking back into the Pray for Paris hashtag that was in this alleged warning. I still haven't discounted it uh, as a possible red herring or just, uh, you know, some bullshit for us to chew on, but it does deserve some looking into. They did mention a hashtag, and that hashtag is being used. Uh, Pray for Paris has become one of the one one of the big ones. Um, so anyway, let's just see what we got here. There's a lot of related hashtags. Um, this is hashtagify.me, and uh, we got Pray for Lebanon, Pray for the World, Pray for Japan, Paris attacks, Pray for Peace, Pray for Mexico, Pray for Beirut, Pray for Baghdad, uh, Fusilad. Uh, I'm not sure. Pray for Lebanon. So yeah. Um, if you just look at the Twitter action here, you can kind of see a top-down kind of a risk assessment. I'm not talking about risk-risk. I'm talking about the game risk. You see what's going on here. There is a coordinated effort. It's happening in the social media, and this is kind of a, a group analysis of what's actually happening on the social media level. This is how people are being affected. You need to know this. This is not by accident. If you look at all of these areas, Lebanon, Japan, Beirut, Mexico, Baghdad, these are key hubs. These are key areas of the world where the social platforms are being affected and people, people's attitudes and their 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 frame of mind are cha is cha in the process of change because and this is just showing how they're being influenced right now this is important information for everybody to know uh just a little update there i've been looking at this uh a little bit more I actually started an account here at hashtagify me so i could kind of use some of the other features um under uh, usage patterns, we can go and kind of look at the, uh, the, the trend. Uh, we can also look at the approximate time that things started. I'm guessing that this is in UTC. It Oh, time zone GMT. Okay, so same diff. Okay, so it's GMT. This is good. Okay, so that would be about uh, 10 o'clock uh, UK time that the hashtag first started and continued on through the night and through the day obviously and so far as it stands uh, the totals reached uh, basically a pretty high uh, uh, I guess you could say a high uh, sample size so um, and yet yeah, the one week trend is up 85 uh, points there now if we look down here um, I don't know if it's just because of the English speaking community being uh, most prevalent which is my, you know, understanding of it all. And then, um, <laughs> yeah, you, you got an interesting cross-section here anyway. I mean, the, the thing took place in Paris. I mean, I'm sure a lot of support's coming from around the world, but it's just kind of just strikes me as a little bit odd that um, the uh, the numbers are so, so huge. I mean, but uh, here you got your different... Uh, variations of the hashtag as well be interested to see which one started when i won't get into all of that we'll we can further analyze it uh, as we go just wanted to show you also that we have these top influencers which is kind of interesting in itself uh all-time top six influencers for pray for paris is justin bieber at one katie perry at two lewis tomlinson at three justin timberlake at four kendall jenner at five and then girl posts at six girl posts yeah so you got all the uh but look at that eh? 59 million three hundred eighty four thousand followers wow pray for paris motherfucker um i do i am i am praying i'm praying for the uh the, the men and women that are gonna go through a whole bunch of bullshit and my heart goes out to you guys. Anyway, uh, back to the video. I'm going to keep going with this, but I just wanted to point this out to some people who are on the fence. Oh, yeah, well, you know. Well, no, no, no. Th this shows it right here. Anyway, guys, um, Robert J. Morris out. Uh, you guys 
take care of each other, man. And we'll see you on the flip side. Peace. Desperate as that sounds, yeah, yeah.